boys and girls. Patty's good friend Big Jack Horner is broke as all the plums have been cornered. With no plums for his baking, his tummy is aching for plums to put in his pie. You must sell me your crop of plums. My business is making plum pies, and if I can't get plums, I'll be ruined. Land sakes, Mr. Horner. How can I sell you plums when I don't have any? Uh, but somebody must have plum crops somewhere. It's been the same story, no plums this year. Ever since I found a plum in my Christmas pie as a little boy, I worked to become the plum pie king of Storyland, and I built up a fine business, but if I don't have some plums soon, I'll be ruined. I will. Well, I know where there are plenty of plums, but they're in a distant part of Storyland called uh, Plum Valley. The uh, Plum Valley? That's odd. I never heard of such a place. Uh, how do you explain that? Well, uh, nobody ever goes to Plum Valley. Lots of people have gone into the place, but nobody ever comes out. That's the trouble, you know. But if it's possible to get into the valley, it's certainly possible to get out. I'm going to go there and buy all the plums, but first I'll call a fatty pelican. Well, I can give you some good advice on Plum Valley, Jack. Stay away from the place. The plum trees are thick, but the mountains are as slippery as if they've been creased. Uh, well, Patty, I'm going to Plum Valley anyways, and I'm coming home with enough plums to keep my pie business going. Holy doodle, Jack, not so fast. I'll go with you and help you if you get into any trouble. Now, this is one of Plum Valley's mountains, Jack. When you get to the top, you'll see more plum trees than you've ever seen in your whole life. Oh, God, boy, well, I'll be the, the greatest plum pie baker in Storyland, I will. On a scientist, is careful, Jack. The road is slippery, and it's mighty steep. Don't worry, Patty. I'll keep the truck in low gear so it can't pick up much speed. Oh, hey, Doodle, it's already skidding, Jack. Stop before it's completely out of control. No, I can't stop, Patty. The road is as slippery and was covered with grease. Well, so long, Jack. I'm getting out while I can. I have a feeling you're going to need some help. So long. Oh, look, I didn't hit anything. Well, 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 a newcomer. We don't have many visitors, but most people stay away from my valley. The people who do come, they like it here. At least they never leave. Now, why did you come here? Uh, I, uh, I come here to, to buy myself a truckload of plums. I did, and I got lots of money here. Place. I own everything in the valley. <laughs> Help yourself to the plums. Take all you want. Take more than you want. I'll have some of my people load your truck. Now you may leave anytime you want. <laughs> but I have a feeling you might want to stay here. There, you see? You see, you can't leave. You have to stay here and work for me. You can't even ask the mountain because it's so slippery. <laughs> Okay, men, I'm going back to Plum Valley, and remember now, I'll see you later. Now, do what I told you. I'll see you later. My new subject, Jack Horner, will probably attempt to get away again, so I'd better make sure that he can. Ah, uh, she's heading for the mountains. It's something mighty peculiar going on. Yeah, <laughs> the fresh coat of oil spray down the mountains, he won't have a chance to get away. This oil has suddenly come in handy. Wow, oil. It must be the largest oil well in the world. Now, hey, stop that. Turn it off. You shouldn't waste oil. It's much too valuable. Valuable? Why, everybody left Plum Valley years ago because the oil ruined the plum crop. But it's valuable to me because it makes people stay here. When the mountains are oily, they can't get away. Now, don't you try to interfere. I'll turn this hose on you. That's what I'll do. And if your wings get coated with oil, you won't be able to fly. You come back here. If you tell my secret, I'll boil you in oil. That's what I'll do. Oh, that's it. That's the lucky got away. At least he didn't dare stop to tell my subjects how I keep them here. No, he didn't. Jack Horner! Jack Horner, wake up! Hurry up, I flew out in the valley and I got help. Now hurry up before the queen makes trouble. Hurry up now, there they are. Okay, fellas, I'll load the gravel now. Come on. All right, all right, Jack. With all that gravel on the road, you'll be able to get out of here. Oh, I'll bet this was your idea, you wretched little pelican, but it won't work. I can still make the road slippery. Stop, stop, stop. Let me explain. You're wasting all that valuable oil. When I get through with you, you'll wish you had minded your own business. Oh, oh, save me. Oh, I'll drop the oil. Turn it off. Oh, you win, I give up. Oh, <laughs> you've ruined everything. All my subjects will follow Jack Horner.
the... But you won't need to force people to stay here anymore. It's worth millions, all that oil. But I'm gonna leave now. I wanna go home and get cleaned up, you see? I don't like being this kind of an oily bird.